hello guys welcome to 3d home and in today's tutorial i'll be showing you guys how to model wall niche part two okay today's part two and our previous video i made mention of something i said you can design what you want first before you design it before you draw it here before you model it here so you can easily maybe sketch it on paper before you model it on your system okay so i've done something like that i don't know if you guys can see though i will still post something like that do I'll still post it on I'll share the picture with you guys on the on the video while I'm editing I'll add it there. So I want to make use of what I've sketched to design on the system. So let's quickly dive into that without wasting much of your time. Okay. So now how do we get this thickness? First of all, pick a wall. Go to ground floor. Okay, this is the space we'll be using. Then from ground floor, add additional wall here. We do that by clicking on our wall, go to setting dialogues, okay. The thickness, this is the first wall we're selecting. The thickness, 300. So it depends on what you want. If you want it to be, you want the, the width of that particular TV console to be 600 or 500 or 200. So anything you want, this way you set that particular thickness. Okay. All right. So we're going with 300. And for the material, we're still using the same white paint. Okay. White paint. Then you click OK. Let's draw it here now. Okay. Let's draw it here. I think this size is OK. Let's check if it's too much, you can easily amend it. Okay, so I think this one is fine. This one is fine. Don't forget the same tool we're using, okay? Come to this, you see opening. Okay, this opening tool. Click on this opening tool. And then now let's select this rectangular. I'm sorry if the video is blocking, but the name of this particular one is rectangular niche recess, okay? Slash recess. So, so double click on it. And then based on what um based on the sketch i have on ground i'll still show you the sketch here okay first of all double click here let's get this one and then don't forget once you click on this one once you click on the box pick those blue line if you want to adjust anything make sure you select the blue line click on the blue line and then remove it from drag and click on this um offset edge okay offset edge so this one will come here based on the design this one should go this way and then this upside is open okay that's based on what i just sketched um this one to need to go down a bit yeah yeah so this one needs to come down a bit and then now from here let's see okay they look the same let me adjust this one a little okay a little yeah so now i'll still select the same one okay and then copy this time around I'll click on drag and then select copy okay i'll paste it here hold down this blue line and remove it from drag and click on this offset edge okay and then i'll click it here now i don't need this side to be open so i'll drag this one down okay down i'll open here to this point if it's too small i can adjust it okay then then i'll take this one back to this point okay to this point now it's too much this thing looks big too now okay all right so this size is okay okay the size is okay i'll take the up to okay Sorry, the mic went off, so I have to connect the second one now. Okay. All right. So, sorry about that. And now, let's copy everything we have here. This three, one, two, three, to this other side. Okay. So, I'll click on this first one. Hold down Shift key. Click on the second one. Then, click on the third one. Then, now, I'll click everything. And click on drag. This drag now will permit me to drag everything to this other end. Okay. Forget about this other side. Once this thing is not aligning, we'll drag it out. Okay. So let's click 
here okay um i think we should just move it inside is better that way yeah so this side okay so now i'll click on this one then i'll drag this point inside a little okay i think a little more yeah so you can see we forgot to press copy sorry about that okay once you click here i didn't actually remove this part because i want you to learn from it okay i didn't remove it because i want you to learn from it so now once you click here to drag everything tap control make sure this plus sign is showing okay then now we'll take it back down to this side okay we'll take it down to this side and click here so you can see we have the same thing here and we also have it here okay i have to leave this one so that you can learn from it too so now click on this one and then drag it inside mm -hmm. this one need to instead of is drag let's uh, instead of drag less of um offset edge okay offset edge to this side let's do that a little bit offset edge okay offset edge let me take it outside first mm -hmm. so now you can see that we have this one now okay you can see the design now and then now there are other few things we need to do now let me do that real fast okay let me do that real fast i'll copy this one take this one down i'm actually working with the design i have on i'm sorry with the sketch i have on paper okay i'm actually working with that sketch so now uh, let me, let's centralize this one let's centralize this one so we'll make a copy of this we have i think we have three inside let's have three inside let's see three inside and then we take the last one to this point okay this is giving you a headache just like what this one is doing now just remove it and then use this upper one drag this upper one down okay make sure you tap control drag it down okay drag it down and then centralize it all right okay 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 so this is the design we have but do on the norms all these ones will be covered okay all these ones will be covered with that drawer or something so now let's quickly do one simple design now i think that's the final stage i'll be using slab tool for it okay i'll click on slab make it like this um the thickness okay that one doesn't matter anyway because we can increase it later then the material i want to use wood materials chain it first then let's use wood okay then click ok just watch what i want to do now i'll click here i'll draw this one here then click on this one then i want to drag this one up up to this point okay up to this point then i can actually reduce this one by clicking on offset edge okay so now i'll i'll move this one to this point make sure it's on drag now before you move anything click it on drag um select drag rather okay select drag select drag let's pin it here okay all right so now the next thing is this one looks it's too downward let's take here up okay so now click on this one and um sorry let's do it this way we have mirror we have multiply then click on multiply okay leave it under multiply this way and um click on okay let's try something so we are picking from here to this point so once you keep moving your cursor to this end this is how everything will come out as so you click like this so now check what we have 
okay so we have this design now okay i have this design now you know what let's take off this one we're making it to look too tiny so let's remove this one and assume that these ones are covered already okay so this is how to design i don't know if you can see what i did here you can see the design here okay do i'll still paste it I'll, I'll make sure i show you guys the picture i'll attach the picture to it all right so this is how to model your tv console based on the design you've done okay based on the sketch you've done all right so i'll be stopping here today we'll be on our next tutorial. if you have any question please do well to ask okay go drop it on the comment section now i'll attend to you guys there so see you on our next tutorial